I have never played before, which is probably unexpected because you would think this is the most replayable game on the planet. Unpacking things is essential. It is lifelong. You could do it forever. Hello, colors. My favorite color is blue. This is my, my childhood book where I write this belongs to Rizzy the coolest, but actually that doesn't fit, so instead I'm Rizzy the call. That sounds about right, so that's probably fine. Skip me into the future, please. I am Rizzy the call. Formerly known as Rizzy the Cool. 1997, that's almost my birth year. Okay, so first off, I was under the assumption we were unpacking a singular person. This appears to be a child's room. I'm gonna put the soccer ball on the bed because even in, even in our sleeping zones, we are in fact a baller. We are always on that grind to become the best soccer player and we need that to happen even in bed. I also only do schoolwork while I'm in bed because I have spine problems and as a middle schooler, you gotta really take care of those spine problems before it gets bad. My trophy from the fact that I'm being amazing. We hide it underneath the crevice because I'm a little embarrassed by it. Honestly, I only keep it because my parents told me to. Pencils on the desk because whatever. This isn't even a real desk. You can't work here. Wait, no, over here. Pencils over here, please. Snuggy right over here where you can't even tell what it is anymore. Could be a soda pop. My diary also goes on the bed. No, it goes under the pillow. Classic. Crayons for the desk. A notebook also for the desk. Oh, I can turn things. It's too much power. There's too much crap on the desk now. A horse directly in front of here so I can be inspired by my own artwork. The piggy bank also on the bed because I love sleeping with my money. Everyone, you know, the guy who sleeps with an axe. An axe is an idiot every day but one. The guy who sleeps with his piggy bank is also an idiot every day except the time that the tax collector comes while you're sleeping. Through the window. You'll have to get through my photo album first. Can I go in here? I can. Let's put the boppet in there because why do I have this? Let's put the dreidel on the shelf next to my trophy. It is in fact an amazing thing. Rubik's Cube is just the style guide of dreams. This has to go front and center in the household because I want everyone to know how smart I am. It'd probably be a bit easier to tell us more does if it was solved, but that's not a problem. More books? Stacky books. Yeah, all books that have not been stacked, you actually should be stacked. Anything else? You? Get stacked, son. Scissors. Also underneath the pillow in case of murder events. No? Okay. Next to my pillow in case of murder events. An eraser to go with the crayons. What is this? A baby dragon to go with the nothingness that's happening over here. I hate it when the tax collector jumps through my window and takes my piggy bank. Yeah, I know. But if you didn't have the piggy bank, when he jumps through your window to steal it, he's gonna, like, punch you in the face instead and take one of your arms. You know, an arm and a leg? That's where that saying comes from. It's an old German myth. More books. This one's a vampire. That one's for my spooky emo age. This is my space one from that time where I said I was gonna do science things, and then I was like, no, wait, this is, this is hard. My Game Boy also goes on my bed. The cat goes next to this guy. It's wearing a little outfit that's pretty cute. We can have a flashlight next to my camera so that I can actually see the things that I take a picture of. Put this monkey book on my shelf. I swear there's space for it. Okay, it goes down there then. Little race car also from my bed. Jump rope, of course, that goes on the bed. Mm, another book goes with books. And a frog goes on the bed. I know that there's a lot of stuff happening on the bed, but I just think that it's the only way we can really live, you know? These aren't figures, mom. They're not action figures, and they're also- this is a pony. It's not my little pony, it's my dream mom, I love them, these are my friends. They're gonna watch me as I do art. Cool duck goes under the desk because he likes to look at my feet. He's cool, but in a creepy way, but we're gonna chill with that because my parents said it was cool. This guy goes next to me so that I can't access my chair, love that for us. Now the picture of the pig goes behind the pig so that you always remember who he is. And the boom box goes in the closet because who needs music nowadays? Boom. More books. Only books. It's only ever been books. Alright, it looks great. What do you mean, red? What? You have to choose the correct locations? I thought this was just about having my dream sequence. You're saying I can't fall asleep with all this crap on my bed? I was one of those kids who thought that if you hurt your stuffed animal, you were being mean and they knew that you were hurting them. Wait, this guy can stay up here? That's nice. This guy is wrong. We hide the piggy bank in the closet so that the tax man will take me because honestly, I embrace death. There's no reason you can't be on the floor. That makes sense to me. You can't fit anywhere else. Up here, can this go on the ground? Sure. Desk. Big. Apparently all plushies legally have to be on side of a surface, which is bullcrap. Kids leave stuff on the ground all the time. I throw these things into the garbage can because they mean nothing to me. Okay, we have too many toys, obviously. I'll start shoving them inside of cases. 
My parents said, clean up more, and I said, fine, but you're lame and you make my life sad. And he's like, that's my job as your parent. Where can the jump rope- you know what? More stuffies on the bed. I, I was saying my own problem, that was the problem. The jump rope is an outside activity, this does not belong on the inside. I like how you ordered it the first time. Yeah, right? This is so much more boring. I still got a lot of crap happening on my desk, but like, come on now. It's beautiful. Wow. And my parents set up my mattress and my sheets before I even got here. Finally, my own room. 199. Oh, it's passing through time. It's not just a whole house. It's time. I see. I am now in... This is college. This looks like a pretty dank college. I want this to go under. In fact, we can. That was the only thing in that box. And we will keep that box forever because I will constantly need to be moving this computer all over the place. Uh, this is my computer. It can go sideways and not centered. Can it go centered? It can. A picture of uh, my fursona. I need those, otherwise I'll forget who I was, and I just need to remember who I was, you know? I kept this pig because he's nostalgic. I kept this toothbrush to remind me that, isn't it funny how people brush their teeth? Like, it's kind of ridiculous. I can leave this room? Why is this even in this box then? Why did I stick my toothbrush? This toothbrush should be in my backpack. It is one of the first in items. I don't know why I even put it inside of a random box. Let alone one that was unrelated to the bathroom. Ooh, my little mannequin. Everyone has this when you're an artist. I had one. Did I draw on it? No. Did I have it in the same pose for literally 10 years and never used it to draw? Maybe. Pantaloons? Into the little shelf. One shoe for under the desk? Nope. For speedy getaways, it's gonna keep my PC from rolling away. My other shoe to keep the first shoe from rolling away? They're teammates. They have to stay together. This boot to stop the two first shoes from rolling away? I put one half of a pair of boots into that box. I can't put bras and pants together, it doesn't make any sense. Bras to bras. Bras to other bra. This black bra, okay, this is like an improper number of bras already. This is a poster. Three miles home out here, that makes no sense. Okay, spectral being, uh, at least it's better than my persona, which I'm still hanging up. I'm not really sure if I bring any, uh, any possible love interests back to my apartment, if I'm gonna be chill with that being there, but that's probably fine. You can sit on my pillow, right there. Because you match the bed, so unlike the pig who got delegated to Sky Zone, you actually get to stick around. Other stacky books and eraser? I'm not doing homework here. You think I do homework here? My files, this go under here. Can I move this? Can you scooch? I just need to shove this in there. Right, right on the- that's- that's probably fine. Underwear to go next to this. Oh, it's color-coded! No, I ruined it already. Okay, black and pink, Smexy. It is still color-coded. That one's sideways, but we don't have to look at it again, so it's whatever. A toaster! For the bathtub. Classic. I can't leave home without my toilet bathtub. What is this? An achievement? Damn right it's an achievement. My Rubik's Cube. Of course I kept this. It goes on the window seal. It fits perfectly. My underwear. Also for the window seal. My other one. Also for the window seal. This might be socks. I think they're underwear. I thought this shirt said Daniel with a picture of a dude posing. And I'm like, oh, thank God. I brought my Daniel shirt. I can't live without Daniel. He's like my, my spirit animal. A book, which I shall never read again. A book, which I shall never read again. My mouse, which goes on top of the computer, but they don't let me because they're lame, so it goes dancey dance. My mouse pad. Oh crap, can I stack things? I can. Beautiful. That's a really ucky mouse pad, but it matches the color of my power button. So you can see I'm really a fashion designer here. A ruler for this, I guess. My book bag is a lot cuter than it used to be. Actually, the first one was pretty good. Just by the bed. My iPod goes on the bed because I listen at night. My lumberjack shirt, which fits perfectly over my Daniel shirt. It's gonna be great. This guy, why do I only have things with people on them? That's not very realistic. My piggy bank for my $5 that will have to save me through all of college. I'm just stacking crap in my closet. I guess it's realistic. Here you go. More journals I will never read. This one goes here. My additional shirt with a cat on it. I don't have any actual clothes. I am entirely someone who listens to pop music and has like a flannel over one of my many t-shirts constantly. I can lift it! Whoa! Gorgeous. I'm gonna color code. This is the gray side. This is that side. And this is also that side. I have a very limited color palette, but I know what looks good on me, okay? I know what looks good. I don't have enough hangers! Okay, fine. We're just gonna stack things horizontally. Get this on the ground. Alarm clock for the side table, which I kind of forgot was happening here. More things. More things right there. I accidentally put these things too far to the side, but I'm gonna ignore that concept. My Eiffel Tower to remind me of the fact that I've never been to Paris and I will never be to Paris. Everyone knows that you only ever wear pajamas once you arrive at your house, because why would you ever want to wear uncomfortable clothes? 
The fact that I have a top and a bottom to these pajama sets is insane. Everyone knows that in this modern day, it's pajama pants plus one of these shirts. More underwear? I don't have enough space for this many underwears. How many times am I going to poo myself in a day? Come on now, get out of here. More underwear? No. Underwear goes in the hidden hatch. This is my emergency underwear. Nobody look at it. It's only for emergencies. Toilet paper on top because I am not a very luxurious person. I have the tallest shirt pile. These are going to fall over as soon as I try to pick up like one of them. More books. Stop reading so much. You're like, how heavy do you want these boxes to be? Tall thing. My shelves are getting pretty stacked. I have more space for books though. Beautiful. Champion. It looks gorgeous. It's perfect in every way. Where's my jumper? I have no- I have a flannel. I'm a cool guy, you know? I don't need, like, warm clothes. I'm gonna walk outside in my flannel and shorts and everyone's gonna be like, it's freezing, and I'm gonna be like, no, it's not. But inside, I'm actually, like, freezing to death. Towel for the towel rack. That's kind of small for my bathing, but I guess it's fine. What am I holding? Soap? I can put my toothbrush in here. Happy face. My deodorant can go inside because that is a secret. The fact that I wear hygiene things is very secretive. This goes in here next to the toaster. Emergency aid. That's probably fine. It's uh, my bra, which I guess is probably dirty because I left it inside the bathroom thing while packing. So I think we should put this one in the wash, but instead it's going in the emergency panty container. More toilet paper. This can please give me 10 of these. 10 toilet paper. You've ruined my dreams. I guess this can hang. More tampons. There we go. Slide that right in there. Tiny trash can. This trash can will not fit. Look at the size of this trash can compared to this toilet. There's a problem with one of these two items. Here, take this. Is that everything here? Okay, fine, I'll take this guy over here if you're gonna insist upon it, okay? It can be- it has to be on the counter, it's my favorite thing. I think we're gonna probably have like a billion mugs, that sounds about right. So we're gonna squeeze these in as far as possible, and sugar will be on the second story. Do I have this entire apartment to myself? What fancy living we're doing here? I'm glad that I have these things just out in the open. The dust really like helps the flavor of my foods, you know? This is a rag. I don't use rags, it goes in the sky. Silverware. Nice. Tasty. The little one. The little or little, that's backwards. There we go. More soap for the- oh, that's a dishwasher soap, that goes inside the cabinet. As does a roach killer, please do not allow me to have any roaches. This is something I don't use very often, my George Foreman. I had a George Foreman in college, I used it twice but fun fact they are really hard to clean so instead i just started making burgers on my oven and that was way easier so i have this but i will not use it it goes next to the roach machine come on you can what do you mean you can't f okay fine it's being cleaned this is too big to exist this is too big to exist Ooh, the top is available i'm never gonna be able to reach that again do i have a ladder stored somewhere we set the oil on fire sponges a spatula is being washed right now my keyboard, again, somehow made it into the kitchen. I feel like I don't understand how the rest of this stuff made it over here, but that's fine. The counter. That's the one that I will drink water out of and everything else it doesn't get stored because I'm drinking water out of it. Beautiful. That's a perfect drawer right there. A spoon is still getting cleaned. Can opener, still getting cleaned. A sponge for your mouth. When I say the naughty things while I'm in college, I'm a big girl now. I get to say bad things. Okay, the oil. I'm sorry you've been delegated to not being there. You are by the sugar. My other boot. To go by the first boot to protect the three other shoes. We're, we're very organized here. It's like a can opener, but janky. Is this a bottle opener? What am I supposed to be doing bodily things here? Can this fit in there with you? It can. Nice. More cups. As far back as I can physically put them because I will never use them again. An emergency cup. You know what? Can they fit here? My two glasses that I will be cycling out for all of college. This can go up here. Also tall. More spoons. Why do I have so many? Oh, they're big spoons. I have separated spoonage. Class. Wait, you guys, what do you mean you can't be here? You're like a- you're a cooking thing, aren't you? Can you be here? Why can't you be there? That's like a perfect location. And you can't be on the oven either? You know people be leaving their stoves, like their oven pans on there constantly. If I- congratulations, you're Sky. You're never gonna get used because you're such a baby about being used. Nothing fits anywhere anymore? Ooh, stick- no, you gotta be in there. Hmm. You can be under the cupboard, which is- no, you gotta be on there. That makes sense. You could be here? Sure, you could be a fire hazard if you want. You could be in the sink if you want. Come on, you can't just be dirty. Come on now. Is it is it that I can't have these things in here? Okay, cutting board, you're counterborn now. Everyone else gets shoved in here. Yeah, that, that looks good. That's fine. All of these things are wrong. I can't have my files on my chair. Fine, now it's gonna be... I can't have this on the ground. 
full of crap. It goes on my desk. It goes on my bed. It goes on the ledge. It goes on the ground, but over here. Over here this time. That's allowed? Come on now. In my bras can't be in my secret department. I don't have space for all these bras though. Where am I gonna- oh, I take the pants out. Is that the concept? Okay, fine. Did you guys to move over a little bit? Blah. Unders. Unders. I'm missing an unders. Oh, the one that's on the counter? Yeah, okay. Apparently I cannot have some of my unders displayed. That's not proper of me. This one's fine, but that one's not. Can I stick it under here as well? I'll put it in between the clothes and also right there. iPod on the bed. Why can this not be on- In art can't be here. This is jank. This people does not understand true concepts. First the monkey, and then the furry, and then murmur. My favorite band. Crayons can go on my bed. Crayons can go on top of the closet. Because I am not an art student, I will never use them. Beautiful. I'm a genius, and now I have a job, so I've lost all things that are colorful and fun in the world, and I'm going to have only office papers. Class starts Monday, uni, here I come. What was last year? This is three years later, so I've graduated. I am a... Seamstress. This is a book. Half my stuff is already unpacked. Does this belong to my roommate or am I also a seamstress? Toys for the shelf. Nope, she's facing the wall. Stack in the shelf. This is a book. Yes, stack in the shelf. Put it on the couch. The couch is all. This could go in a bedroom if we have one. There are too many rooms here, please. And hanging it. Seems like it might be a bit of an oldie. A D6? Oh, we're into D&D &D now. A drawing tablet because I have gained wealth. I realize that I do in fact have to have a, a college job in order to survive in this universe. This one is... I don't have space for my alarm clock. They go on the window seal? No, it's gonna go on my desk. I'm gonna be really annoyed by that every morning. This is a doodle of a cat girl. On my post-it, obviously. I'm learning... I mean, I guess that's kind of realistic, you know? Most people who get into art and do art-related things do so because they watched anime at some point. This person obviously was into furry stuff, and that's why they're so good at drawing now. It's a very lucrative market. That's not a d6? Then what is it? A d20? I just meant it was a dice. We got it, we got it. All of my art things will be up tall because I hate having clutter on my desk. Except, of course, my very essential notepad thing. That's always valuable. Postcard? Yes. For all my friends who, instead of going to college, decided to explore the world and have fun. And I'm like, okay, that's cool for now, but what if you need a job later? And they're like, who needs one? Now they're an influencer and they have infinite money and I, for one, am still in college. I still think iPod belongs on bed. I don't know why they won't let me do that. I don't have enough space for all me books. Me books, me sir. Can I just put that on the ground over there? That's fine. Look at all my anarchy books. Ooh, what's this? A Game Boy. Well, we're getting fancy now. That goes in there then. As well as this. All of my favorite game things happen at the same time in there. Under the bed, so no one can ever find it. It reminds me of my old dog. A family dog that is no longer here. What is this, a shoe? I thought it was a decorative thing. It goes in the closet. What is this, a backpack? I have no idea what this is. It's going down here. Um, I don't have any storage space. I do have storage space. There's a whole other section over here for my backpack. I think my backpack could go under my desk. Apparently it's not allowed to be doing that, though. This seems like a fine and dandy location. Please allow me to keep it there. Oh, yep, I got a job. I work at the pumpkin store. I think I'm a grocer. This can also go here, I guess. My yoga mat, because I am so athletic now. Pajamas basically go with, like, underwear anyway, so this makes sense. My tiny trash can. This used to be in the bathroom. Gross, that's in my house now? The weights I will never touch. My other weight that I will never touch. Uh, you know what? Put them on the ceiling. They're so never touched, they go in the sky. Oh, a cute little hat for my pumpkin scarf. We'll put that right there. Honestly, that's the cutest apron. When I quit this job at working at the grocery store, I'm absolutely gonna steal this apron. What's this? More books? I stop having so many memories, child. I can't remember all of these things at once. Beautiful. All three of the bras. Okay. More shoes to go next to my art supplies? These are gonna go in here in a random matter. It's fine. This is still a shoe. This is a really weird shoe. Let's organize these a little bit. What is this? Oh, my other shoe. I didn't even know that was in there. You could say, well, maybe if you organize things, you would remember. And I'm like, well, true, but also who let you in here? And they say, nobody, and they scatter us out of my house. Actually, you could live here if I remove the art supplies, but like, where does the art supply live? Up there? That makes sense. Yeah, I guess if you say it that way. Boom, beautiful. Perfectly selected shoes. That's not where you go. You go up here. This is a skirt. It goes with pants. Pants and skirts are the same thing. This actually appears to be part of my uniform. Hat, get out of the way for a second. 
I feel like the hat honestly should go on my bed because that's where you hang your hat. Oh, a screen! I've upgraded! Look how fancy my screen is here. He's gorgeous. Is this my diploma for that time that I did things successfully? It's a rare scenario, so I really do want to keep that. Can't I stack my underwear? I'm just gonna start hiding them. Oh, I have drawers. I forgot about that, honestly. Can I- can I just grab my- not, no, that underwear's hidden now. No one look over there. It's not existent. It's crazy to think that I feel like I have so much stuff and I'm very disorganized, and yet I perfectly fold all of my underwear. Look how beautifully folded all of this underwear is. This is a shirt. My files, of course, that has my birth certificate in it. It goes right by here. I cannot access my closet, but who needs closet things? Not I. Um. Okay, trash can, you're gonna have to scooch because this is more important, Russ. This is where it goes. Okay, happy birth to that then. Can I put this under the bed? That feels like it makes sense to me. This feels fine. It feels incorrect, but it probably feels fine, honestly. This is messy. Can I fix it? My roommate is like putting their stuffed animals in the living room. Did we agree with this? I feel like that's the kind of thing that needs to be agreed upon. 